Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a CMS name as ASE SEE for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is ACE SEE for PC, what are its features and function, then we'll tell you that how you download and install this app on your PC and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end, please like, share our video, subscribe to our channel. So let us start. Basically ACE SEE is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your screen. It may be a laptop, it may be a computer screen, it may be a mobile screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of camera, you can see the multiple channel at a time, you watch the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You will take the back of the recorded videos and many more. Okay, now to install and uh, to download and install ASE SWE Home for PC app on Windows OS, we have to take the help of Android emulator called BlueStack. This app is not given for Windows OS. First, we download a BlueStack on Windows OS, and with the help of that, we install ASE SWE for PC in this system. So let us start. Now I make a separate video on how to install BlueStack on PC. I give link in the description. You can watch the videos if you don't know how to install BlueStack on your PC. Once after successful installation of BlueStack for PC, you should find the option BlueStack 10 on a screen like this one or BlueStack 5 on the desktop. Just double click the BlueStack 10 icon. Your app will start. Okay. This is the interface of the app. It may take a few seconds. After that, this is the interface of the app. What you should do, you should click on the Play Store, the like App Player. Just click on the App Player. And after that, it will create an Android environment for the app. It will take a little time. Once after successful opening, you find, you find the Google Play, you are able to download and install any Android app on your PC. Like here, this is the interface of the app. Just click on this system app and click on the Play Store. Now click on ASEE and click search. Now you find here, this is by Hero Speed Technology. Just click on install. When you click install, it is totally automatic process. You don't need to click anywhere. First, start downloading this app on your PC. Then it starts installing. Let the process to be finished. Then we'll tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live. So keep watching. Once it is successfully installed, you find option open enable. And one more thing I would like to discuss with you that once after successful installation, you find this icon on the desktop also like here is S E S W -E. Just double click this icon, your app will automatically open in the app player. Okay, just click on the open. Now click I have read the agree and click it and click on read and agree. Just click escape. And here you find the option register. You can sign up by your own. I have already an account, so I will I log in with you, my username and password. Now after login, this is the interface of the app, okay? Now I should delete this device first. Now 
Now I should confirm the password. Now this is the interface for the app when you installing it first time and you log in it first time this is the interface you, you see on the screen. Now first thing you should do you should click on you should add the device means you should add the camera so for that you should click on this plus button just click on that click allow when you do that you find that you start QR code so QR code is you find the sticker on your camera box or even the camera and just just scan that that QR code and after that it asks for a router password then it can then it's come online otherwise you don't know the QR code or your device ID just for that just click on add device ID here okay now where you find the QR code just below this you find this ID like see in the picture like this one okay here you can QR code you, you can scan the QR code otherwise you should scan the ID okay and just click confirm when you click on confirm just click home or office camera whatever the type of camera just click ok and click finish ok and after that your camera comes online this is the very simplest way to add the camera and thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day